Hey, Nate here, director of Racket Sports at Clear Creek Tahoe. Today I'm going to give you a tip on learning to rally in tennis or spec tennis. This is spec tennis. We use a paddle like this. We use a low compression tennis ball. It uses the same skills and strategies as tennis, so it's a great entry point into tennis. Um, one thing that I see a lot of players do when they first get out on the tennis court or spec tennis court is they go back to the baseline and they start taking a full swing at the ball. What I recommend is establishing control first by doing more of an abbreviated swing and starting very close to the net because once you can do that, you can control the ball from a short distance away and then you can progress back to the baseline, but you've developed control so you're able to go out there with your friends and family and rally. And so I recommend starting with a very abbreviated swing. See, I have a mark right here, so this is where I'm going to stand and as I have success with this abbreviated swing then I can start working my way back towards the baseline notice when I'm hitting this though I am NOT taking a full swing at the ball instead I'm doing a half or a quarter swing with my paddle pointed up to the sky so same thing in tennis if you're hitting like this it's easier to make the ball go where you want with less effort and so if you're hitting it with your paddle open it requires very little effort to make the ball go where you want and so you have a lot of control. So getting used to being able to do this, and if you can do a 10 ball rally from this close, then you can start working with your way backwards. And so a game I like to play is I have a mark, my partner has a mark, and after we're successful, then I move the mark back a little bit until eventually I'm at the baseline with this same swing though. So paddle pointed up to the sky, a nice relaxed wrist, and so you're gonna wanna find a grip that allows your wrist to be in a very relaxed position. And typically the higher I hit the ball, the further it's gonna travel. So I'm putting in very little effort right now, making the ball go to my target. And so again, if I do 10, then we back up until eventually I'm all the way at the baseline. But notice at the baseline, I'm still doing the same swing. And so now I'm actually able to go out and play against somebody and have fun with my family because I have control of the ball. And so if you haven't, experienced spec tennis before, I also encourage you to try it. It's a similar learning curve to pickleball. Both are easier to learn than tennis, but we learn the same exact skills that you're gonna use in tennis, and there's no restricted areas of the court.